What is up guys, I'm Elgin Thorin here, back again with another episode of Claymore Spots. And today I'm going to be showing you guys some spots on the map Strike. Four spots actually, uh, two on the defending side and two on the attacker side. So right here is going to be the first spot. So this right here is a really great spot, um, pretty much when people are pushing into B, they're always coming through this area right here, either from the gas station or from this little building right here, and they always rush into B either through here or right there, which I'm going to get to in just a second, but um, it's really unlikely that they either flank from the back or right there, so they're almost always going to be coming through here if they're rushing into B and the second spot is going to be right here so pretty much they have no way of getting into B unless they flank from the back or they rush from the very front which is not that smart since people are usually watching those areas So yeah, they get caught almost every single time right here, or when they cross into here, so there's no way for them to push into B. Next, I'm going to be showing you spots for the attacker side. So believe it or not, there's actually spots for the attacker side also on this map. Um, since sometimes people like to push from the defender side if uh, the attacking team is not much of a rush team. Um, the defending team sometimes likes to rush from right here. If they see no one is back here or they don't hear anyone, they like to rush from right here into here. This is where the first spot is going to be. Now this is a great spot, um, almost a guaranteed kill pretty much because as soon as they rush in here, there's there's no way they're going to look directly down and to their right. They just don't pay attention to that, so they get killed as soon as they come in here. Um, second spot, going to be right here. Also, if they try to push from A into here, if they try to flank because they see no one is back here, uh, it's just not going to work out for them because there's going to be a claymore right there. Alright, next map. Alright, so the first spot is going to be right here for B. It's actually in a really sneaky type area. Um, it's right where the bushes are, so it's not noticeable at all. So when the clock is ticking down and uh, people have to go rush for B, they don't really flank from here or the back they're always going to be coming through either here or right here and since it's not noticeable they don't see this claymore right here and they get caught right here almost always it gets a kill second spot is going to be an a Now this is my favorite spot for this map, uh, actually it's probably better than the last spot that I showed. Um, it's going to be right here. 
So you kind of have to judge how far back or how forward you want it because if it's too far back, um, the explosion's not really going to kill him. But if it's too, like, too in front, it's not really going to catch them. Especially if they have uh, extreme conditioning, they can just run past it and jump. So you want to kind of judge how far back you want it. This is probably a good uh, space for it, but... So yeah, when they when they come through here to A, they're always going to be coming through here to it. There's not really any other way to push into here except maybe from the back or if they're making a complete uh, circle around the map from B to A. Well, that's unlikely. So they're either going to be coming through there, maybe here, but most likely from here. So either way, when they come through here, Boom, they're dead. Now pipeline, pipeline is not going to have that many great spots for claymores. Um, it has some, but it's just the map is so big that people can come at you from anywhere. They can come from underground, uh, from just many different locations. So I just focus on whatever I know people are going to go for, like the bombs. So for B. This is where I set the claymore, and he usually gets a kill every single time. Um, so it sets off as soon as they go for it. And I, I've gotten kills almost every single time that I've put it down here, so it's a pretty good spot. So the second spot is going to be right here. So pretty much there's not really a way for them to get into B, except maybe cross from this building, or flank from A, or go underground. So if you're defending B, you should be pretty set when it comes to these spots. Right, so one last spot for this map. Um, this is going to be for the people that always try to flank from underground and try to come in from the back. Um, it's really annoying, especially when uh, you're you're staying back and you're not really pushing. You're just waiting for them to make a move. And that's how people usually get killed is by people that come at you from underground. So this is where you set the claymore. So right when they come up from underground, they don't see anything, they look around and bam, right there. Alright, that was Claymore Spots number two. I'll see you in the next episode.